Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Looking at Facebook on the daily and weekly time frame, so we had some interesting action this morning where we had the low of the reaction to the earnings down at 130.40, and the bulls really wanted to hold that level, and we did end up breaking it by 10 cents. But as we'll see on the five minute time frame in just a moment, there was something going on, and it gave us an indication of what to be looking for at the end of the day or for the rest of the day, which ended up being very bullish with this close up at the high of the day. So we're still maintaining higher lows. I'm looking at the previous consolidation before earnings, 129.52, and then a higher low now at 130.30, and a close at the high of the day. So resistance is the high of Friday, 132.85, and then the all-time high is up at 135.49. So all in all, the bulls are very pleased with how today went and how we closed with the momentum favoring them, and we are currently not confirming that bearish reversal candlestick from last week. Plenty of trading left to go in this week, but as of right now, this candlestick is being negated, and that is a very clear bearish reversal candlestick. So bulls would love to see a nice green week. We're off to a good start to negate that candlestick. So what stood out on the five-minute time frame this morning was the lower wicks. So we had the low of the day set in the first 10 minutes, but look at the lower wicks on all of these candlesticks in the first, let's say, 45 minutes of trading. Just dip being bought big time. And so you look at this action and you say to yourself, okay, Bulls are buying the dip. We know the psychological indication here is that we are seeing buying of the dip. That's what lower wicks indicate. So now we have to figure out, okay, why is this happening at these levels? And number one, we're looking at the low of the reaction to the earnings, which is down at 130.40. But also want to look around at different time frames to see what's going on. Look at the 200-hour moving average support. That at the time was down at 130.43. So that's the level that we were bouncing off of time and time again. You look at that five minute chart and it's literally about a dozen candlesticks with big lower wicks. And you can see the bulls turned it on when we saw a new high of the day. We saw an attempt, a big upper wick of profit taking. And this is the psychology of a cup and handle pattern where we have the high on the left side, our cup, our lower high on the right side, unable to break the high of the left side. We consolidate a bit more and then a full on breakout. And we saw a lot of strength, pulled back, held the 200 period, five minute moving average support, and then a strong end of the day with some market strength to back up the bulls. So utilizing different time frames, checking key support levels, knowing the psychology of the candlesticks with what they're telling us, big upper, big lower wicks with bulls buying the dip, and then that big time follow through spike in bull volume and the big time breakout with a very strong close. So we'll see how much momentum the bulls get into tomorrow. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you then.